All right, Sean, after a series of troubling reports by the defenders, Michigan Medicine is promising changes are coming to the Wayne County morgue. Yeah, it all started last month when a family came forward saying their loved one had been at the morgue for months and was then cremated even after the morgue claimed her remains weren't there. After that, it snowballed with more families coming forward. Defender Karen Drew first exposed this story, and uh, Karen, your reports played a critical role in leading to those changes that it promised today. Yeah, it's a big day, Kim and Devin. Officials from Michigan Medicine who run the Wayne County morgue as well as the medical examiner, Dr. Carl Schmidt, spent more than an hour in front of the Health and Human Services Board. It was a very different tone from the last meeting. This time, mistakes were admitted and a plan for change announced. I just want us to, to do everything we can to avoid seeing a repeat of this. That was the feeling from most on the board. What needs to be done so the dead and their families are treated with respect? Um, there is a sense of outrage um, and, and how you all handled those cases. And you must understand that we never should have to go back to this uh, point again because this is uh, this is just um, uh, unacceptable. Commissioner Kenlock referencing the cases that offenders have exposed of bodies left in the morgue for months without notifying families. Other bodies decomposing. Over the past month, we exposed five cases. Five or six is five or six too many. The local four defenders were able to obtain the last inspection of the Wayne County morgue from 2016, where two autopsy physicians were cited for performing more than 325 autopsies a year. Three other physicians performed more than 250, which was a violation, saying it impacts the quality of an autopsy. The facility was also cited because only four of the 13 death investigators are registered. At least seven of them are required to be. And there was no sufficient staff to cover the caseload for forensic photography. As far as change, Michigan Medicine announcing major changes because of our reporting. A new death scene investigator to be hired, a more in-depth audit will be performed, and a plan to create a web-based portal for families to help them search for their loved ones at the morgue. I love your idea about getting better at um, sharing information um, and being accountable for the numbers, and, and uh, we aim to do that. It's part of our comprehensive plan. Now, the chair of the board was also really concerned, saying she is going to hold quarterly meetings and said she wants to make sure Michigan Medicine, who does get paid 31 million bucks to run the Wayne County morgue, is doing what the contract says it's responsible for. By the way, their contract is up in less than a year. I can't walk past you in the newsroom without hearing you on the phone talking to somebody about this, these kinds of cases. How many, do you have any idea how many families have even reached out to you yet? You know, I've started a spreadsheet. It is really yeah. hard to keep track of all of this, Devin. Yeah, when I first did the story, I had one case. And then the medical examiner said it was a singular case. So then I followed up and I reported on five cases. And then at today's meeting, Michigan Medicine said there was only five cases on the radar. So clearly they're only citing the cases we report and are not voluntarily doing any self-reporting. So we will continue to expose the issue like I'm going to do on Thursday. It was an all-out manhunt looking for an accused murderer. You could come in and surrender, or we're going to have to find you. Police time spent, money spent. They searched in three states. This went on for two months. Guess where their guy was? The Wayne County Morgue. You see, there's one thing the Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office does not do to unidentified bodies. If he did, well, the case could have been solved. Makes you wonder. Who else is in there? The Defenders investigate Thursday at 5. A lot of people are wondering. It just goes on and on. Who else is exactly. in there? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's Thursday. Yeah. All right, Karen.